A good communication strategy in development cooperation is completely focused on the audience. To achieve this, we distinguish six components here. The first component is your goal. It's like in sports, if you don't have a goal, you can't score. So a promising communication strategy sets a clear communications goal or a small set of goals. Otherwise, the action cannot demonstrate any impact. Which kind of communications goals will be used is predetermined by the overall goals of the project. In order for planned activities to be strategic, they need to aim at a communications goal and that in turn has to directly relate to a specific goal of the project. The second component are your messages. This is the actual core of what a project wants to get across, embedded in their content, in their stories. And since messages need to be carried by something or someone, they come in a certain format. They're spoken, written or visual forms. And some messages need a special format, while others can be conveyed in more than just one way. Maybe the message needs a personal touch, while another one has to be presented in a very factual manner. The third component is the audience. A good communication strategy is always focused on the audience, just want to hammer that in, which is usually considered to comprise certain groups of people. And since people have very diverse needs, even though they fall into one group, these groups should be further broken down along the different needs. The different needs determine how the communication with each of the subgroups takes place. A good communication strategy clearly reflects the various needs of the audience or what these people want to know about a certain subject. And the third piece is the tools. Tools are used to facilitate the actual communication. For example, a social media account, an event, a webinar series, or even monthly telephone calls or personal visits. Related with that are channels. The term refers more to a continuously operating tool. And then there's also tactic. All three pretty much mean the same thing. Important for the choice of the tools or the channels is that it should be guided by whether your audience is currently using them and not by whether you use them already. Also remember that people have personal preferences in terms of formats, which might not be determined by how you categorize them. The next aspect is frequency. How often do you plan to communicate with each of your audience group or better interact? Repetition is important for people to remember information or to get off the couch and do something. Best, you do it with different tools, formats and variations of the messages. But it's not only that. Many modern communication formats often require smaller information bits. The use a constant flow of information rather than just one announcement. This also plays into another aspect that has risen to even more importance lately, and that is very much connected to frequency. It's continuity. The established line of communication should not cut off. It's no use following someone who disappears off the screen for weeks on end. The last aspect is measuring impact. You need a system and metrics to measure how your messages are received. Are they delivered, understood, acted upon? For example, delivery could be gauged by view counts, comprehension with a survey, and degree of action taken with a random interview sample. When, for instance, you find that messages are delivered and understood well, but nobody does what you suggested, then you need to figure out whether the people in your target group maybe lack the means to do what you ask them to, or it could be that you addressed the wrong crowd in the first place. So measuring sounds like the end of a process, while actually it's also the beginning. Not only do you need to know how to measure your goal scoring if you want to win, you also need comprehensive information to retune all your components in a useful way and start over. Deciding on these six components is the backbone of your communication strategy. 